Now you've cut lots of stuff and made beautiful things. Now it's time to clean it. All right, let's get right to it. This is my Glowforge Pro. As you can see, we're gonna open up the lid and you can see after you've done multiple cuts, like your laser tube gets very dirty. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our laser printer head and pull it off. You're going to disconnect the ribbon and you're gonna see that we have a fan in there that we need to clean and the lens that we'll need be cleaning. Uh, using a hex wrench, three millimeter, we're going to open up the bottom gate. And remember, always use your hand, two hands to move the gantry. Remove your crumb tray, take your three inch hex wrench and on the right hand side underneath, you'll put your wrench up inside the wheel, turn it and it'll loosen, move it over and go ahead and pull off the belt. You're gonna take uh, two hands to pull towards you to undo the assist fan assembly. And there's the assist fan and its port. And we'll show you how to clean that in just a little bit. Remove everything out of the area and you're gonna to want to grab a Norex towel or some kind of non-lint style towel with some water and mixed with 50-50% of, of vinegar. Take that, wet it, and start wiping everything down. As you can see, there was lots of uh, tar smoke type of material. Wipe that down. The Pro has the pass-through. Take that off. It gets smoke underneath. Start wiping it down as well. Move the gantry a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and get some more our stuff and start wiping everything down from back to front to make sure all that stuff is wiped down and makes it nice and clean. You're going to continue cleaning all flat surfaces that you can see or reach into. Just be careful not to disturb anything that seems like it might be too loose. Just continue wiping down all flat surfaces underneath. Move things around. Use two hands to move the gantry. Wipe down your laser tube. Make sure it's nice and clean. Um, you can also get use q-tips to get up underneath the holder that holds the thing down now there is a way to get up underneath the tube get some masking tape or some duct tape take it out make uh, about uh, six to eight inches long get a piece of paper towel cut it to the same width as your piece of tape place that on there and then you, what we're going to do is try to work it away itself in there Get it a little wet with the water vinegar and start moving it back and forth. And as, as you'll see how dirty it can get. It is kind of sometimes gets hard to get in there, but try as you might. Continue wiping down all surfaces. Uh, back there is where the fan is. As you can see, that is the cooling grids and there's the main fan. It is very hard to get to that fan, but we'll do that on another video on how to clean that. Going to continue cleaning the cover to the pass-through uh, for the Glowforge. And I'm going to go ahead and start Put that back on. Take a Q-tip, get up underneath and in those tight spaces to get it all cleaned. Next, we're gonna grab the lens remover. It has a magnet on one side and another side that's non. You put the magnet side in first, it attaches it and pulls right out. We're gonna go ahead and grab a Zeiss wipe or some kind of a alcohol wipe that you can get and you're gonna clean both sides. Clean all the other glass materials inside and there is also a mirror on top just pull it off and make sure that is clean it only goes in one way make sure it goes back and it's whole, held by magnets the other side you just put it on top and go right up underneath it to go in and it'll catch continue wiping all other flat surfaces now what we're going to do is grab some canned air or if you don't have canned air uh, your your breath or wind from your mouth will work but we're going to go ahead and spray in there make sure you hold on to the fan you don't want that to free spin that can cause damage so just hold it spray around all the fins and now we're going to grab a little bit of a q-tip to clean around the edges and inside as best you can they do make some very tiny q-tips at work i've got one that's got a, a sharp pointy end on it i just dipped it in there to rotate it so i can clean the inner edge of the fan that keeps it nice and clean as you do so. As you can see, it is dirty in there and it happens every time after you do a lot of cutting, it gets pretty dirty. Continue uh, cleaning the actual fans themselves on the front part, back part as best you can. 
If you have the really tiny ones, it works a lot better. Anything else that looks like it's dusty and or smoky, just use your Q-tips to clean everything else. We're gonna put that off to the side. Next is the assist fan assembly. Uh, this thing can get pretty dirty. Just go ahead and grab your uh, air, canned air, whatever you can to get it all blown out. So you'll see it gets a little dusty. Just hold on to that fan so it doesn't spin because you don't want it to ruin it by accident. And then um, as we continue, we're gonna grab another Q-tip put a little bit of that, uh, dip it in that water and vinegar solution or a little bit of alcohol, clean all the fans, uh, fins, and then the jet port of where the air flows through. You can take this off if need be, just four screws with a T15 star wrench tip end will take that right off. As you can see, it's so much cleaner and it'll work so much better. Now go ahead and grab your belt and you're gonna wanna make sure it is looped around on the inside of the two, or the four wheels that is, make sure it's looped in and the teeth of the belt should be facing inward. Um, make sure you uh, have it there. You're gonna click the back end first and move it forward. The wheels in the back are spring loaded, so it should just spring forward, lift up, and it should go right into there. Put the belt on the drive side and then on the other side. You're gonna take your wrench again, put it up there, make sure it is tight, tight, tight before you tighten the wheel itself, if not, if it is too loose, uh, it will not center correctly, so make sure it is tight. Feel it. If it feels good and firm and it goes back and forth without becoming loose, you're good. If it's loose, uh, try again. Grab our printer head again, snap on the ribbon and at a small angle, magnetize right back to it. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean the glass, again with the same solution. As soon as it's all nice and clean, clean all the other smoke and stains that you can see. Use your Zeiss wipe to do the lens. This makes the lens nice and clean and you should be good to go. And you're gonna also clean that mirror because you it's a, or a glass, it's a, where the laser goes through. There's one on one side and one on the other. Just make sure you don't touch it so it keeps it clean. Clean along where the LED lights are. I like to use a Norwex window cloth to dry mine. This makes the wind, glass nice and crystal clear. Works really well. Do the top, do the, uh, the inside, do the top all over and then you should be looking good. Take your crumb tray, tip it one way to get all the loose pieces out, wipe it down. Eventually this will get very sticky, tarry after a lot of cuts and you may want to clean that with a deep soak. This one wasn't so bad. Those are the feet that go inside the dimples. Those must be in there. If it's not in there correctly, you could um, damage or you won't have good cuts. Go ahead and close it and we're good to go. Now it's nice and clean. Hope you enjoyed the video of cleaning your Glowforge. If there are any other videos that you would like to see about our Glowforge, just let us know in the comments down below and we'll see if we can get one of those videos made up for you. Are you looking to purchase a Glowforge? Well, you're in luck as we can save you up to $500 with the link in the description below. Not part of the crew yet? No worries. Look for the link below that says Ken's Crew Headquarters. This is the go-to place for our fans and helping them save money. In fact, using any of our links below helps support our channel. And for that, we thank you. Stay up to date on everything by subscribing to our channel by hitting the bell icon. Here are a few other videos we think you may enjoy. Again, thanks for watching.